Hi, I'm Clary Kostrician and I'm the director of the ISA REAP Summit. I'm currently sitting in the Great Hall of the University of Technology, Sydney. There's no one in here and it's quiet. In three weeks from now, there are going to be 400 of us. We're going to be coming from all around Australia, from Perth to Brisbane, from Hobart, Melbourne and even beyond to the University of Papua New Guinea and to the University of the South Pacific. To my right, we're going to hear the likes of Justice Michael Kirby from the High Court. We're going to hear from Tim Costello. We're going to hear from David Bousseau. We're going to come from all around the country to set a three-year plan for where we want to see Australia get to with respect to global poverty eradication. In the past few months, I've been in a really privileged position to be able to meet some of you and to be able to travel around the country and talk about some of the ideas that you guys have generated. I've seen pockets of student energy right around Australia. I've met a group of students in La Trobe University down in Melbourne who meet every Thursday night over a couple of beers just to talk about poverty eradication. I've met similar groups in Sydney and I've got emails from groups down in Tasmania, over in Perth and up in Brisbane with all these cool ideas as well. And so we're all going to come together and put these ideas, harness these pockets of energy and actually come up with something that not only we're going to be proud of, but there's going to be some pretty cool people listening and watching and keen to see what we come up with. Bob McMullen from this Australian federal government, he wants to know what we come up with. Bob Carr, the former Premier of New South Wales, he wants to know what we come up with. The university here at UTS, they want to know what we come up with. And I've been lucky to hear from a whole bunch of your universities from right around Australia, they want to hear what we come up with. So I think with that, we've got a fair bit of responsibility. I look forward to meeting all of you guys in three weeks and I'm looking forward to seeing what this Sydney Declaration looks like.